get this rolling here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Let's get my screen up so you can, there it goes. Okay, now we're in business. All right. Hey, welcome. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is the Wednesday, well, scratch that. It's a Tuesday edition of the Daily Draw. Every Tuesday during the Daily Draw, we take a look at something that is man-made, and we've got this excellent um, a birdhouse uh, that we'll be taking a look at. Hold on, I want to look up one quick thing here. Yes, Patty Myers had... Uh, uh, posted this in our Facebook group, and I thought it was a pr so appropriate, even on the uh, curtails, the coattails of of our um, drawing that we did on Monday last yesterday. So uh, I I think it's interesting because it really sets up. Uh, it's a one point. It's it's a multiple point perspective drawing, and I want to show you why that is. Um, because the more that you understand this, uh, the better you're going to be in different situations. So let's jump right into this here and let me let me show you what I mean by that. Remember, if, if I'm going to show you, uh, if you're going to draw a one point perspective, this is this is you. This is your shoulder and that's that's your head and you're looking you're looking straight up this way, all right? This is the angle. If you are standing square, of course, to walls that are like this, and there's, let's say, the back, this is going to be a one-point perspective, all right? If you are standing square like this, and here you are once again looking, and there's a square in front of you, that too is going to be a one-point perspective because this is totally square with how you're standing, all right? Let me show you one more scenario. If you are standing like this, okay, and you are, let's pretend like this is a box. This is a box that's open, and this is, of course, this is all like a top view, and, and the box are open like this. This is also gonna be a one-point perspective and why didn't that, uh, let's just double check this. Okay, we're looking good there. <clears throat> this is also going to be a one point perspective. Uh, uh, this box here, because it's also very square to how you're standing. Okay, now let me show you the opposite. Let me show you a two point perspective scenario. Let's say you're, you're standing right here and you're looking. All right, don't draw, just watch, just watch this. And now this box is at an angle, you see that? Now that's a two point perspective because it's at an angle. And this this would look like this, and, and you know, this, this would be a true, it's usually a two point perspective. It's just far more interesting uh, to, to look at a building with, um, you know, two point perspective, okay. So that this, this birdhouse now is it's it is a one point perspective because let's well actually I'll show you because if you look at if you look at this look at this this is oh what's going on here what is it that? all right you see this is this is square to how we are. This is square. Oh, look at that. It's. I'm going to pause this. Hold on. Yeah, uh, man, we're going to give it a minute here. I see that it's freezing on me, huh? Hang in there. It's 
sometimes these things will do good just to correct themselves. So let's just give it a second here. Hold on. Mm, wow, that is just being problematic. Let's see if that helps. That looks better now. Man. We're gonna give a second here. I want to make sure that we're we're looking good. Okay, I think I think we're good right now. So let's let's keep going. So if you are standing here with this birdhouse in front of us, look the front facade. We are looking straight at the front facade. You see that? So it's almost like a uh, it's almost like a one-point perspective but the thing is because this birdhouse now has these side panels that are at a different angle okay now now each one of these each one of these are are going to go back to a vanishing point and each one of those so the key the key i want you to think about is when you are facing a flat surface and it's facing directly at you, it usually means that that surface is one point perspective. But the minute that that surface becomes angled in any way from the way that you're standing, that's gonna have its own uh, vanishing point. That's a good rule to remember. So just remember, if, if you're facing something flat, you know, if I pick up this paper, I'm, I'm standing up square here, and, and this is, facing perfectly parallel with my shoulders this is going to be one point perspective all right but the minute that this turns at a different angle then all bets are off all right so let's go ahead and jump into this and draw this today with that in mind let's bring up a new layer here and then let's make this a little bit smaller here okay all right let's do this All right, so let's start off just with looking at that front facade there. Now I'm just gonna come in here and try and proportionally draw that front facade. Now let's let's take a look at this and and get this bottom part right here. This is this is the bottom part here, and then it looks like it's going to have this little bit of a archway. You see that? There is the center there. All right, we'll start with that. Now, let's go ahead then and, and get this angle here. We're gonna come right up here, get this. And we're, gonna, we're gonna estimate that, all right? And then the width is gonna be somewhere like this. All right, and it's about the same on the other side as well.
All right, so. <clears throat> Let's come down here to this this corner right here. Now this is gonna also this is gonna start to go back to this vanishing point over here. And these are kind of guides. I'm just kind of guiding it. And this also is gonna come back to those vanishing points. Come back to this corner right here. We could even, you could even take a quick measurement here and go straight, straight across if you wanted to. Let's get the center. Let's get the center of this square over here. So we're going to use our X method that gives us the center. Same thing on this side. And, you know, it's, I don't, as, as you look, you'll notice that my eye level is a little bit lower than the photograph, which is fine. As long as we stay consistent with whatever we start drawing, that we stay consistent all the way through the drawing. Okay, let's, let's put some, let's get the base, let's get the base of this thing down here now. So I'm going to start off just with like looking at this line here and, and getting the front end here. And it's, it's going to be foreshortened just a little bit. And then, and then to the right, all right, so there, that's right there. So let's take a visual measurement of how far out that's going to come. And that's going to be the same on the other side. So here's here is the corner. Okay, that's going to be right there. And now look at look at the corner of that tray. Look how far out it goes. Let's let's take that measurement. So we're right about there. And the same thing is going to be the same over here. Okay, let's connect the dots here. So we're gonna come out like this. Come out like that. Okay, we can make an educated guess at the angle back here. The same thing for the other side.
All right. Let's get this uh, the top this roof part here. All right. So once again, let's start. Let's start with this. Here's this corner going up. All right. Look at look how far out that is, and that that looks like it almost lines up with the one in the corner down there. You see that? So let's let's come all the way up here like this. Now, the one in the photo is crooked, but we're going to make ours straight. And then let's take another measure. Let's take, do a measure, measurement here. This is, we've got this edge of the tray, but look, look at the size. Look how much further out it goes. You see that? So let's come up here and we're going to come way out there, I think. All right, let's come across here. And now since this guy is crooked, we're not gonna, we're really gonna get this angle right here, right? That might be a little too far. Okay. Let's find the center here. So let's just use our our center part of this window and it looks like it has a nice a nice taper coming up like this It looks like it has a, a little replica bird as an ornament at the tip top there. You see that? So let's, all we have to do is draw like a little oval. We'll do something like that. Okay, you got these little decorative stars. Now you can just take a second and, and get that in so it's <clears throat> and then this one, ooh, this is gonna be a little more challenging. It's in perspective, but I, I think you could
just kind of guesstimate that. Just make sure that this cross beam, look at that. These are all going to go to the this similar vanishing point. get this bird in place okay so let's put a let's let's look closely let's look closely at this bird and before we get all excited about putting in putting him let's consider something here look this is this is the edge of the planter right there and this bird is mostly off off the edge of the planter you see that so let's do that let's put a little action line here so we get some idea of about the angle that our little bird's going to be at. All right, let's go ahead then and uh, get this body in place. And then his head. And then his backside goes right into his feathers here. Okay, we're gonna add a little tone to them. And then let's add a little bit of tone to this bird feeder. And you can see if I come in here like this, I'm just going with a normal one value of tone right now. even putting in the tone from the opposite side. Got this little bit of a shadow right there. And now I'm just going to kind of go through and and uh, define some of these tones sharpen up some of my edges
this is a real sharp sharp change in value here Look closely now. Look, look, look at the the value changes even on the inside. Okay, I'm just working my way through it, where I see different uh, edges, sharper edges, adding a little bit of detail here. Okay. If there's no questions, I think that's going to do it for today. So here is your, uh, this is actually uh, a multiple point. You have, uh, like, this is close to being a, this is a three point, three point perspective. You've got your one point perspective right down the center here because this, this plane is facing us directly. It's squared up with our shoulders. And then you have this point this point of perspective that's going to be somewhere in that direction and then you've got another one over there that's three point perspective not too bad <laughs> all right hey listen my name's kurt i'm a daddy draws and this is tuesday edition of the daily draw thanks for watching post your work on our facebook group if you have any questions or reach out to me you know the email address patty thanks again for supplying this and letting me use it as an example uh, that's what I got. My name's Kurt. I'm a daddy draws. Okay. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.